All right, everybody, welcome. This is our morning routine here on our homestead, and I hope everybody enjoys. Here we go. And of course, the very first thing we do, and the dogs make sure that we don't forget it, is to let them out in the morning. They love to wake us up bright and early, sometimes it's early before 6 a.m. And they get to join us along as we do these morning chores. We are on our first year ever of owning uh, Cornish Cross chickens and trying to raise our own meat for the very first time. So the very first thing we have to do is we have to take all the food and water out of their chicken tractor so that we are able to pull it across so they can access new pasture. And this benefits them so that they don't have to sit into their own poop anymore and also allows them fresh grass to now graze and not, they don't have to have that same old stuff that they had before. Now that they're on their new grass, the next thing we got to do is now they need food and water. Their feed, we feed to them in two different containers so that they're not all fighting over just one container. These chickens are very hungry chickens. It's in their breed to be like that, so they can get a little aggressive at each other if they're competing over food, so that definitely has benefited them. And their water, as long if it's not completely empty or completely disgusting at this point, I like to keep it because it's nice and cold in the morning for them, so I'm not gonna change it over just yet. And now it's time to go see the egg layers. We have 14 hens and one rooster here on our property. And one thing I've realized I really enjoy with chickens is opening up that coop door in the morning and just seeing all the energy they have to sprint out of that coop and just stretch out their legs and just running back and forth down the run. But we did just get a new rooster and he is super feisty with energy in the morning and it seems like he tries to mate every single hen that we have. This morning was no exception as he chased probably four or five of them around the whole entire run. Now it's time to feed them this morning. And just like our other chickens, we do it in two different separate bowls just so that there's enough of them, they can all have enough space to eat in. And it is just a very calming and peaceful thing to listen to them eating in the morning. They just make these little chirp sounds as they eat. And I don't know, something just calming about it. Now after getting all the chickens fed and getting all the chores done and everything that we need to do for them, it's finally time to take care of the ones who did the morning chores with us. And it's our two dogs, our Wheaton Terrier and our Great Pyrenees. And if you even slip up and start to not feed them, our Great Pyrenees will let you know and will paw you until it is time for you to get up and feed them. So we'll feed both of them here this morning, get their bellies all full. And that will finish kind of the very busy first hour of our morning routine here on our homestead. Obviously we get a lot of our stuff done that we have to get done like in the first hour of the morning when we wake up. But now here at the end of the morning what we got to do is kind of give both our meat chickens and our egg layers some fresh clean water. As long as the chicken waters don't like look super dirty or really, really low, I don't see a strong need to have to change it right away early in the morning. Because in the morning time, it's actually really nice and cool. So the water is actually colder in the morning than it's gonna be for the rest of the day. So I figured as long as it's not dirty, not low, 
let it sit there. It's nice cold water for them to have for the day. And then I'll come out here in a few hours once the sun starts beating down a little bit and that's when I can change their water and give them some fresh water for the rest of the day. How we doing Caesar? How you doing? There's our new uh, rooster, Caesar. How we doing ladies? I know, we're gonna get you some new water, okay? Caesar, it's okay. I'm trying to help the ladies out, okay? How you doing Caesar? This is usually one of those times also towards the end of the morning where we have some food that's built up in the fridge, leftovers, things that we weren't going to ever eat that I like to throw over to the chickens and also our compost from either the day or two days that we've been piling up in the house. So let's give the chickens some leftovers. and then throw our compost into the compost bin that we have built up. And now here's a time also that if we didn't have rain last night like we did, is that I would take the time to kind of water the garden and get that done as well. We did actually have some rain, so that's been nice. For a while we had like a dry spell going on. I think that was kind of going around, it sounds like all across the country to be honest, where we weren't getting rain for like, it felt like a month. So we had to come out here like every single day, every two days to water this garden because it was so hot with no rain. So I don't have to water any of that. So that's a plus. And as you can see, a big bulk of the morning routine all happens right in the first like hour of the day when we wake up. That's when every single animal needs food, water, including our chickens, our dogs. And then after taking care of all of them and getting anything situated for them, moving the chicken tractor, you come back inside and that's when the little humans are awake for us. So that's when you have to try to make sure that they have breakfast and they have their food. I know right now with it only really being chickens for us, we're really not in too bad a shape and it's not as stressful of morning as other people have on their homestead. But it is something to think about and it's something that I wanted to show you guys because as soon as you take responsibility to have animals like that, or like that, when you start having a homestead and deciding this is how you want to live, your whole day is gonna be busy but the morning portion is the busiest part of it. So that's when uh, chickens are just... What are you doing? What are you doing, Goldilocks? Climbing on the compost bin. But that really takes the big bulk of your day and they require your needs. It's, you can't just forget about it, sleep in until like 11, because that throws the whole entire day off and your animals won't be able to... Now we have two. Your animals all get thrown off because of that. They need to eat right away. So it is something that we wanted to show and we're hoping that the next time that we do one of these kind of videos, it's gonna consist of a few extra animals. But at the moment, we're, we're good where we're at. It's at a good pace. We know what we're doing, but we'll get ready to throw a few in after that. You guys have a great day and a better tomorrow and we'll see you in the next one.